Let's hand it over to Jane Galena now for the final trade of the day. Hello to you, Jane. Hello, Angela. Well, this week in particular, I am concentrating on what is normally sunny Orlando, Florida, two of the big name parks and their parent companies. So we know we've got Disney, we have Universal. So looking at Disney and looking at Comcast, the owners of Universal, they have really expanded their new park with Volcano Bay and also adding on Epic Universe. So looking at that, as long as we can hold 40, 25, looking for this to move up further, at least up to the $43 range, if not even higher. That is due to open January, 2025. And they also have a lot of concerts and events there. Now we look at Disney. Disney also has their Hollywood studios. They've got Epcot, they've got the Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom, right? So Disney in itself, as well as ESPN, all the other brands that are under the Disney umbrella, both charts are looking fairly similar, creating a nice rounded bottom. Disney, as long as we can break above 96 with a support area of 92.50, I do think that we're gonna be seeing this up into the 100s very quickly. As the saying goes, 80% of the time, if you see a stock going through 80, it's going to make it up to 100. We have seen that the bigger volume on both of these stocks is below us at this time. So when big volume is below us, big money typically is below us as well. So looking for their gains to also beat our gains. And certainly our thoughts are with Florida today. Thank you so much, Jane. Thank you, Angela. It's always a pleasure. We Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.